I think that gentrification as a process, as a capitalistic process, always finds places to make money. I don't think it'll stop. If you look at um, gentrification historically from the 1960s onwards, both in North America and the UK, they've all, the process has always managed to exploit recessions or disasters or downfalls. You know, it finds what's known as the kind of rent gap, the kind of disinvested spaces where it can maximise its profit. When I think of Battersea, I think of the power station. I think of an area undergoing a massive change as, as huge bits of land around Vauxhall, around Nine Elms and Battersea are being redeveloped. At present, it's in this in-between state. When you walk around and the construction hoardings show all these architectural renderings of future apartments, but for now, it's loud it's hammering, it's concrete, and it's cranes. When I first entered Robert Young's, I recall being overwhelmed by the sheer number of beautiful objects that is in the space. So many pieces at one point in time were very modest, everyday items, but over the passage of time elevated to be these incredibly sculptural, decorative antiques. I was inspired by this naively painted ceramic money box and uh, it was slip cast and hand painted with glazes around 1830 and the ceramic depicts this quaint cottage scene and it just feels so far removed from the present high rises and urban regeneration where this piece now resides. The money box to me feels symbolic of the aspiration of owning your own home and this escapism of the idyllic thatched cottage in the English countryside. I wanted to create an installation that was responsive to the limitations of the space but that felt both connected to the ceramic but also to present day Battersea. Something that felt in progress and somewhat precarious. One of the new joys of this antique child's money box is that, of course, it's now worth more as a decorative object than it ever could have held within it. And much like house prices, these very humble construction materials together become this increasingly unaffordable commodity.